What is the difference between a food cart and a food truck? And is it better to have a food truck or a trailer? Well, in this video from Marketing Food Online, we are gonna go in to give you a full breakdown of each type, how much they cost, where you can take them, and well, you know what, just watch the whole video. All right, so which mobile food business is right for you? The food truck industry is one of the fastest growing sectors of the larger food service industry. So it's really no surprise that food trucks are taking the nation by storm. With the food truck market estimated to be roughly $2 billion by 2025, you may be interested in joining this growing industry today. But before you do, you may wanna ask yourself, is a food truck, is it right for you? Is there a smarter, more affordable mobile food business that would be better suited for my business. We are gonna dive into comparing food trucks, food trailers, and food carts to help you decide which vehicle would be best for your mobile food kitchen business. Food trucks, food trailers, and food carts, let's get to it. Mobile food businesses can come in a variety of styles and sizes to serve a variety of purposes. So it is really important to consider the differentiating characteristics between choosing the right food truck transportation vehicle for your business. Now, here are a few things to take into consideration when deciding between a food trailer, a food cart, or even a food truck. But before we dive into it, let's give this video a big thumbs up if you see that it's helpful and hit that subscribe button, as well as the bell notification so you can get notification of every new video we upload on a daily basis. Also, check out our other food truck channel, Food Truck Freaks. It's a full channel we just launched solely dedicated to the food truck industry and to food truck businesses. So number one, mobile kitchen size. So the size of your mobile kitchen will basically determine where you can park and the types of events that you can actually attend. Food trailers are the largest in size, ranging from eight to 53 feet long and roughly eight feet wide. Now a food truck usually ranges around 10 to 26 feet and potentially seven feet in width. Food carts are the smallest. They're gonna be about four to seven feet in length and two to six feet in width. Number two, kitchen storage and available space for your business. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the size of your interior kitchen space can impact what you can actually make and bring as well as the staff size that you can go to a certain event. Food trailer businesses. Now, these are large enough for full-sized restaurant equipment, cleaning supplies, and a full cooking staff as well. Food truck businesses have a little bit of a reduced size and they may call for more dependence on countertop cooking equipment, space saving storage solutions, and maybe a staff of one to three people. Now, what about a food cart business? Well, they're a little more limited space-wise and you may call for very few of small appliances such as warmers and can staff up to about one to two people if you've got up to two people running that food cart. Number three, pricing for your mobile food business kitchen. All right, so your budget will and can dictate what the mobile kitchen may cost you before you invest. Let's start with the food trailer. Now on average, food trailers will be between 20 and $40,000. Your food truck, 30,000 up to 200,000. And a food cart, a lot less of course, between 4,000 and $15,000 to start, depending upon the type of equipment you have on these vehicles. Number four, how mobile are these kitchens on wheels? The way a mobile kitchen navigates can help determine which events and the locations that they're gonna best cater to. Let's start with food trailers. Need to be towed from one place to the next, may be too big for certain parking spots. Now food trucks, on the other hand, these are vehicles and a kitchen all in one, can be actually driven, of course, from one event to the next. Food carts are pushed by hand, attached sometimes even to bicycles or mopeds, and are towed from one event kitchen to the next. What events work well and what events do not? The type of locations and events a mobile kitchen is designed for can help you choose the right one for your specific mobile food business. Now let's start with the food trailer. So food trailers are large events, seasonal fairs, weddings, and even concert venues. On the other hand, you have food trucks. These are great for city streets, fairs, carnivals, block parties, music events, or even corporate buildings. Now lastly, the food carts are easily to be transported to city sidewalks, amusement parks, uh, the beach, catering events, or even smaller venues for food events. All right, so number six. So food menus and what you can and can't prepare on them. 
So now you gotta understand your menu and the size of it as well as the ingredients can be directly impacted by the size of your mobile kitchen. For instance, you talk about food trailers. Now they can have a very large menu offering a variety of foods with a larger menu selection because of the size of them. Food trucks, on the other hand, specific items that follow a similar theme or cuisine type. Food carts are great for smaller food sizes or even snacks and just grab and go drinks. And you might have up to maybe two to three items on them. Number seven, so which unit will serve your customers best depending upon your mobile food business? So you wanna choose a mobile kitchen that best helps you reach your target demographic. So you need to understand who are you trying to reach and how large are the events. Number one, the food trailer. So long-term parking and multi-day events work great for food trailers. Food trucks are great stop and go location hopping because you can go from one event the same day to the next and it's pretty relatively easy. Food carts, you wanna look for foot traffic and walking distances that can be covered in certain locations. Now, an important message that you need to understand is the vehicle type you choose can ultimately impact your entire mobile food truck business plan. So it is important to consider these factors early in the process. Ultimately, the best vehicle for your food mobile business will come down to your budget and what you truly want to do with it. All right, so for beginners, what is an actual food truck? So a food truck is a combination of a motorized vehicle and kitchen all in one. Food trucks are typically 15 feet long and about six to seven feet wide, but they can range in sizes from up to 11 to 28 feet long. The versatile vehicle is designed for street parking specifically to serve pedestrians that may be passing by or coming through the area. So food is prepared and cooked in the vehicle and sold to individual customers from the window on the side of the truck. Let's discuss some of the food truck business pros and benefits. So here are some of the benefits of using a food truck for your business over a food trailer or even a food cart. Kitchen doesn't need to be towed, so it actually makes it very mobile and easy to take from one event to the next, more lucrative locations one at a time and easily transported. Now, a single food truck can actually means you don't utilize a separate transport vehicle, similar to trailers and food carts. Vehicle size easily fits down most city streets and can be parked in most parking spaces, providing a simple driving experience from one location to the next. Compact size means fewer appliances to clean than a standard kitchen though. Mobility makes it perfect for stop and go services and it provides access to spots all across your city or your county. Versatility of the space allows for a flexible menu and a menu experimentation. So as you want to alter your menu, it's a lot easier to do with a food truck. Since food trucks are extremely popular, they have excellent resale value if down the road you want to get out of the food truck business. Now, let's talk about some of the cons. Food truck businesses have a lot of benefits, but there are some downsides. So depending on your business model, there may be some downsides to choosing a food truck instead of a food cart or even a food trailer. Let's get into a couple of those really quick. Now, if you have any engine problems or automotive troubles, basically we mean your whole business kind of stops until the issue gets fixed. Highest upfront cost compared to other mobile food vehicles, usually around $100,000 to $250,000. Even if you get a used one, you may have to retrofit it. Maintaining a food truck can prove to be also very expensive in the long run. Now, with food trucks, there are a lot of paperwork, licenses, permits, and other things required, including zoning permits, health permits, and even signage permits if you have it in your city or county has kind of a smaller kitchen space also, which means a limited menu and a couple employees at the most can be inside the unit at one single time. Now, limited number of sizes when it comes to food truck vehicles as well, because they normally come in a lot of standard sizes. Also, when you have a built-in generator, it can take up precious kitchen space that you may actually need for your actual food production. More miles put on the truck, the more depreciates in value as well. So when you buy a new one, as you drive and use it, of course, it goes down in value. All right, so let's dive into a food trailer. So if you're looking for more space in a food trailer, might actually be a better option for you to. All right, so again, if you're a beginner and you wanna know what a food trailer is, a food trailer is a mobile kitchen that you actually hitch onto a vehicle, then you tow it from one location to the next. Now, kitchen trailers, or food trailers as they're known, can vary greatly in size, ranging anywhere from six to 40 feet in length and up to eight to 10 feet in width. Now, these very customizable vehicles are designed to cater to much larger crowds during like an all day event or an event that may be five or six days back to back or large weddings or even state fairs because they have a much larger space that you can work in and it has to be towed though from one location to the next. So what are some of the benefits and pros of having a food trailer over a food truck? 
Here are some benefits of choosing a food trailer. Kitchens can be transported by any vehicle, so a business does not need to stop for vehicle maintenance, similar to what you might have to go through with a food truck. Now, since the kitchen trailer and the transport vehicle are not necessarily connected, the trailer can be simply left at an event and the vehicle can be used to go get additional supplies if you run out or anything else that's needed while you're at a specific event. So that's a big plus. Usually also, they're a lot less expensive than food trucks and up to two feet wider in some cases, depending upon the type of model that you get. A larger size allows for a food business to cater for larger events because you can store more ingredients and more packaging and products on it. Much larger inside than can a lot for a full size equipment, ingredient storage space is bigger. You can have more disposables and your cleaning supplies specifically on the food trailer. The full kitchen means that you can offer a multi-course meal, have a full staff up to three to four or five people and serve several customers at once because you may have multiple windows on the vehicle. Varying in sizes allows you also to find a food trailer in your budget and you can customize the inside of it specifically for the, what you need. Food trailers can also be used as a secondary kitchen to expand on the space of an existing building or even used as a primary kitchen during renovations or even disaster relief. Now, the great thing about trailers are that the mileage won't accumulate on the trailer itself. So you can always take it from one event to the next without being concerned about the value being depreciated because you're putting miles on it or wear and tear because you simply tow it. As always, there's pros and cons. So let's cover some of the disadvantages of having a food trailer. Now, of course, we have to talk about the downsides of a food trailer, just like we did with the food truck. So there are some downsides associated with concession trailers that are really important to consider because it is, again, a large investment before you purchase. Now, an external vehicle with a hitch is required to move the trailer. The vehicle also needs to be powerful enough to be towed in order to create, take the trailer from one event to the next. Large size can make it difficult or impossible to maneuver down certain streets or different events that are limited on space when you get there. Before moving the food trailer, it will need to be packed up and hitched back upon the transport vehicle before you leave and of course before you go to an event. An external generator may be needed also depending on the specifications of your trailer. If you're looking to cater wedding venues with your mobile food business or establish a booth at a local state fair or festival, a concession trailer may be the right choice depending upon the, how you want to expand your business. Even if you've got a brick and mortar restaurant, they may be a great addition to that. All right, lastly, let's dive into the food cart. Now, if you're just starting your food business or looking to target more foot traffic with more seasoned specialties, a food cart actually may be a great way to at least get started in the food industry and reach most customers in your area or your city. All right, so those that are beginning in a food cart business, what is a food cart? So a food cart is a compact mobile kitchen that can either be pushed by hand or towed with a car or even attached to a bicycle, believe it or not. Food carts range in size from four to seven feet long and about two to six feet in width. The food server will generally serve from behind the cart since they are typically not enclosed structures like a trailer or food truck. Most food carts are only have one piece of cooking equipment and a warmer to hold the food at the temperature once it's cooked. Now, food carts are designed to attract foot traffic from nearby walking paths to serve any individual customer at a time. So you only get a chance to really serve one at a time compared to a food trailer. Now, what are some of the food carts pros, some of the benefits of having them? The following pros are of a food cart and can help make your mobile food vehicle decision a lot easier. They're a lot more budget friendly option for a new food cart business owner to get instead of a mobile food business such as a food truck. A small size is perfect for busy streets to target specific walking paths during lunch, dinner, rush hours, or even areas of major cities. They are so mobile, it allows you to bring food to locations where large brick and mortars cannot go, such as parks, farmers markets, fairs, or even beaches, similar to that of food trucks, but sometimes you can't bring them there. So no need to hitch it to a transporter, meaning that you can quickly readjust your location to target a more profitable spot, even in the same day. Now this is really cool because you can create a close relationship with locals because carts provide eye level customer service. So many times when you go back to the same location, you get regular customers. Now they're also space saving and the size allows you to simply save storage overnight during off seasons. And they also come with a reputation of a niche menu, allowing your cart to be known for its signature selections in specific areas of your city. All right, here's some food cart cons. There is a downside to them. The compact size of a food cart 
can also come with some drawbacks for your food business. Now, lack of a full-size kitchen equipment limits the menu selections that you're able to serve at your food cart. Now, also with a food cart comes limited storage and space, which does not allow for, for the food storage of many of the ingredients and to-go containers that you normally find with food trailers or food trucks. Mobility of the carts is fully dependent on your own foot power. Additional vehicle or bicycle may be needed in order to transport from one location to the next. Now, in some cases, there's a stigma associated with the lack of cleanliness on food carts, and that sometimes keeps potential customers away from buying your product. Now, a food cart can be a great vehicle to help you start in areas like farmer's market stands or serve refreshing summer treats or local areas in your beaches or boardwalks, but they're also easily transported again from one location to the next. All right, so there you have it. That is a rundown of food trucks, food trailers, and food carts. And if you have any questions about starting your mobile food business, as always, let us know down in the comments section. And if you're looking for additional resources, check out these videos here, and I'll see you guys on our next video.